Hey Aquarius, I hope you guys are all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of November 2021. And it is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. And yeah, what else? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius. So let's see, the overall energy for you, we have divine timing, okay. Well, that does talk about patience, doesn't it? And yeah, it is one of those things where it can oftentimes just be annoying, um, having to be patient for something or just trusting in divine timing, but that's what's going on here for you, all right? Things are happening in divine timing. So it's actually also a good indication here that things are actually on track and happening the way that they should. Kind of playing out, but possibly taking some time. So let's see what is going on for you. For the situation, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse crossed by the Knight of Swords. Okay, so it could be that somebody here is just not feeling very, um, not feeling very desirable, possibly in a particular connection. Um, and again, with the Knight of Swords, it does talk a little bit about impatience, something happening very, very quickly. So we'll see, we'll see. Let's see, for your energy here, we have Judgment as well as the Two of Swords in reverse. For them, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse. Coming up for you is the Queen of Cups in reverse. For them, the Three of Pentacles. And the potential outcome here is the Ten of Wands. All right. Aquarius, what's happening here? Yeah, it just, um, there's something that you're beginning to have a major revelation about or something that is just really coming into your awareness, grabbing your attention. And I feel like it is teaching you a lot, whatever this is. It's like a major, a major life lesson that you might be in the process of learning at the moment. And it can make you feel like, you know, things just aren't working out because that's what these kinds of lessons can um, do for us. Or you're just feeling like, you know what, I'm realizing that this connection just can't happen, we're just not agreeing with this person, we're not seeing eye to eye, that kind of a thing, feeling like there is just no, there's either no solution or if there is a solution, it's just not happening because someone is not agreeing to that. Um, for them, yeah, I feel like they've been moving very, very slowly in the direction of moving this connection to the next level or in just making some kind of a decision possibly with this King of Swords. Um, and it's in reverse, so I feel like this person has not exactly been there 100%. It's almost like, you know, this person might be overanalyzing certain things, overthinking certain things. I do see them moving towards some kind of a compromise though, some kind of, okay, you know what, we need to work together and figure something out. But for you, I feel like, you know, you, I feel like you're just getting to this point where you're just like, you know what, like, I don't know, I, I don't, you just don't really want to participate as much maybe. I feel like you're pulling your emotions away from the connection because there's just, I don't know, so much maybe that has happened or it, it was just overwhelming for you or just whatever it is that you're learning here is taking um, a toll on you. But let's clarify. I feel like, you know, there's something here that's going to need to release. I feel like the intensity is building. Especially with the Ten of Wands. Um, being in the potential outcome here, it feels like there's just a burden that is just feeling so so heavy that we, we just need to release it. Whatever that might be. Doesn't mean releasing the connection necessarily, but just releasing that sense of responsibility or a burden or something, the heaviness of it. So let's clarify the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Swords. All 
All right, we have the Nine of Cups, Justice, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Um, Libra showing up here. I feel like this is a connection where, again, it feels like the two of you were like each other's wish. That kind of a connection, right? Something's happened, though. Something's happened that has left somebody feeling... Um, I don't know how to phrase this, feeling less, not less than, I mean, it, it's just more of feeling undesirable, like, okay, I guess you might, you must not want this that much, like, if you're not really moving in this direction as fast as I would want you to, and that's not a bad thing, I mean, maybe this person really is moving really, really slowly, or just not, you know, wanting to commit, or just not willing to give up something else um, for this. So I feel like there is, um, there has been some, either some impatience or something is just not moving as fast as you would want it to. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that you're wrong, okay, necessarily in wanting it to move fast, but you know, it is what it is. And so I feel like that's just taken a toll maybe a little bit on, on somebody's um, self-esteem a little bit deep down. And again, um, I always say this, the roles can be reversed, okay? Because that's how it is with general readings. All right, let's see judgment for your energy. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so it is showing up like it's it's you who's feeling like the other person is not really wanting this as much as you. Um, and I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. I feel like you you both feel like, it, like I said, that you were or you are each other's wish, but it's like the action is lacking from the other person's side. And I actually feel like you're you're pretty aware of the effect that this has had on you. And the fact that things didn't go as planned. You're aware of what of how this has made you feel and how it has made you feel about your own self. And because of that, I feel like you are taking steps. But it's a very, I feel like this is a very deep lesson for you when it comes to your own sense of um, self-worth, what you deserve and how you feel about yourself and how, you know, how much can somebody affect how you feel, you know, and the, about you and that your sense of self-worth is not dependent on how somebody else views you. And again, not to say that this person doesn't view you as being desirable, but you feeling that way though, You know, how does that um, play out for you? How does that affect you? Let's see the Two of Swords in reverse. All right, the Queen of Wands in reverse again, and the Four of Swords. See, so this is what you're healing. See, so that, that Queen of Wands that I've been talking about being in reverse here, it's showing up again for you. So that's, yeah, confirmation for me that this is for you. But again, unless the rules are reversed. So, yeah, you're feeling like, you know, there is... You're kind of feeling like there's no um, winning with this person at the moment. But again, it feels like the, um, the higher purpose in all of this situation is you coming out of that stagnancy with, within your own self, like something that you weren't seeing before, you are able to see that now in your own self and you're healing that. Whatever, you know, um, self-worth issues may have been hiding that you weren't even aware of, you are now 
becoming aware of them and therefore healing them. And of course, these may have stemmed from childhood wounds, right? Childhood traumas. And so they can easily be forgotten until something is triggered. Something triggers them. And I feel like that is what, that is what is happening here. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, the Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person definitely has um, emotions for you. There's a lot of feelings here. They know this on an intuitive level. It's like this person, for whatever reason, right, it, it's, it's more like it's in their head, right, that they would want to be able to provide for you. They would want um, a commitment with you. They want all of this, but for some reason, on a practical level, they're not moving in that direction. And I feel like you would know what that reason is. Or they're moving very, very slowly. Let's see the King of Swords in reverse. All right, we have the Emperor, Temperance in reverse, and the Six of Wands. All right, okay, so we have Aries showing up here, Aquarius. Could be any sign though, okay, just calling out what I see. Um, yeah, I do feel like this person is overanalyzing, especially if this is somebody who is, it, it feels like this person has some kind of a role that they are trying to adhere to. Some kind of a role, and it could be related to their work, it could be family, it could be just anything. But they're having a hard time really bringing into balance and really understanding um, what it all means and what is it that is truly important. So this person might give some emphasis to status or to what they feel would be considered success. But it's not really what they consider to be success. And so that's what they're struggling with here. And I feel like with temperance being in reverse, you know, that that it's giving a little bit too much emphasis to what others think of them or to what they have been conditioned to by others rather than to their own self. And this is a way for them to feel like they have control. Like they this person has control over their life when they feel like they are viewed as successful, even if deep down they're feeling really out of balance. And there's a lot of um, self-criticism here that this person is doing to their own self. Possibly because they want something different than what society, what they think society would want of them. And so they're left feeling out of balance, unfulfilled. All right, because I do see them having these emotions for you, wanting this commitment, but not moving in that direction currently, at least. But again, like I said, in the from the very beginning, right, we have the divine timing card here. So that was the first card out. So definitely things are working in a way that they are meant to in order for you to be able to have this trigger, learn certain things about yourself and heal them. And it's definitely serving a purpose for this person as well to learn the difference between what I want and what I think others want of me and which do I choose. So let's see the Queen of Cups for what is coming up for you in the near future. All right, the Two of Wands in reverse and the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, so you... Feeling a little similar to Gemini, by the way. You're... You're recovering. You're recovering from this. You're definitely healing. I feel like there are certain things that you are releasing from the past that were keeping you stuck. All right, because before we had the Two of Swords in reverse, um, now we have the Two of Wands in reverse. And so I feel like with that, I mean, the reason why the Queen of Cups is in reverse here is because whatever, I feel like that's the um, negative emotional, um, the negative emotional energy that you had concerning your own self, you're healing that. You're, you're releasing something from the past. You're coming out of some kind of grief here. And it's like together with that, I feel like you're also 
pulling your emotions away from this connection because the because you're more independent like the better you feel about yourself the more that you're finding your own sense of self-worth the more that you feel like your emotions belong to you and that you don't have to give them to this situation which isn't fulfilling at the moment i hope that makes sense that's how it came through so hopefully that makes sense to you <laughs> what i just said uh, let's see the Three of Pentacles for them. Coming up. Hmm. Alright, we have the Three of Wands in reverse, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, yeah. So this person is definitely also learning their own lesson here, okay? Which is very, I feel like it's a very important lesson for them as well. Alright, they are, they are learning here. I... When it comes to, um, the way I'm seeing this Three of Pentacles now is, when it comes to compromising with others, when, when those other ideas don't agree with their own self, they're coming to realize that it doesn't give them the results that they would want. It's not what they would expect. It's like there's still this longing, there's still this waiting, there's still this something because it, they don't feel complete. And because of that, I see them actually kind of um, moving away from that kind of an energy. Becoming more indifferent to, to these others' expectations of them or to the um, wanting the approval of others. They're definitely, and they're definitely not over you, all right? Ten of Swords here in reverse. Definitely not over the connection with you, but this is also um, them not feeling as much pain anymore when it comes to not abiding by other people's um, beliefs, views, expectations. So yeah, that's the build up here. Let's see the Ten of Wands. For the potential outcome here, I feel like it's just this person yeah. see the three of pentacles showing up again so this is their energy here all right they're the ones with the three of pentacles um what again and this three of pentacles is this person abiding by other people's views of them okay so that's going to build 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 until they just can't take it anymore and then we also have um the hanged man i feel like this is this hanged man is actually seeing that from a very different perspective here being able to separate their own self and almost like making a sacrifice, having to sacrifice third parties or third party, which would be, um, I mean, it, it could be just about anything, but the way that I'm seeing it here is society overall or maybe, you know, just um, some kind of um, close knit circle community or something that they're in definitely could be family but again I feel like it's something more general than that even if there is another um relationship here or another commitment could be work could be anything but it goes deeper than that it goes to how others view this person and how this person feels about that so yeah, it's building, building, building until this person is going to feel so overburdened by that that I feel like they're not going to have another choice but to to release it and seeing it from, again, from a very different perspective and knowing that that's going to have to be compromised. And it's all happening in divine timing. <laughs> so yeah, that is it, Aquarius. I hope this made sense for you. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.